Hello and welcome to the Art Lady's Home. I am Tiffany from the Art Lady Channel. It's a kids art education site that's on YouTube and it'll teach your kids, if you have them at home, about fun art activities. So be sure and check out my art channel. I've been teaching for 29 years and I have some great lessons on there for art. Um, but today I'm going to talk to you about pop fillers and as you can see this is my kitchen cooktop vent and this kitchen uh, cooktop is not done yet. I still got a few more things. This kitchen remodel is just taking forever but you know what? It's worth it in the end. Um, I'm still deciding on tiling. But when, before I had this installed though, I was contemplating a pot filler. Now, some things to think about if you are contemplating installing a pot filler. First of all, I am kind of, I don't know if you call it a pessimist, I guess it's just a Girl Scout, I'm always prepared. What happens if my pot filler starts to leak? Well, it's gonna drip all over my stove. Yeah, call the plumber. But what happens if it's gonna leak in the pipes on the inside? Well, then I'm going to have to tear out my tile and it's going to be a huge ordeal and a huge mess. So I was thinking about that. And then I was thinking about, because I'm a germaphobic, I, I like to run my water for a while. And what happens if I'm not running my pot filler for a while? Or not using my pot filler? I didn't want to have that stagnant water in my pots that I'm cooking. So I thought of what else could I do? So what I ended up opting for instead, and I'm so glad I did it, I opted for a vegetable washing station right next to my stove. That way I can fill my pots and a bonus, I get a vegetable washing station. And this is also what I call my clean sink. It is a sink that no meat or no bacteria, anything nasty is not going in. So it's only for washing vegetables and fruit and using it for, you know, pasta water, filling pots. And I absolutely love it and use it all the time. I grow a lot of vegetables myself and be sure to tune in. Um, I will have a posted, I will post up lots of videos on gardening tips because actually this is about the Art Lady's home and this channel is about everything to do with the home. So check out those gardening tips um, soon. They'll be coming soon. And uh, anyway, so I, I do a lot of vegetables. It's absolutely perfect for vegetables. Um, the sink is, I'll tell you the dimensions of the sink, it's 15 inches long by 12 and a half inches wide. And let me tell you what, I pushed the limits on this sink. I wanted to use the, I wanted it to be the biggest sink possible for the cabinet. And like I said, I was contemplating between tossing back and forth between the pot filler and this sink, the pot filler, this sink. And so I looked online, researched all different kinds of pot fillers, and I just wasn't happy with the mechanics of the pot filler. I just thought there's too many elbows and parts on that pot, 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 pot filler that could possibly leak and drip. And so I ended up, now the cabinets were designed so I had a limit. This cabinet was 14 inches wide. So that was the, that's the cream color cabinet that the sink is actually in. So I had a limit to what I could. You can see some of the plumbing in there. So I had the limit to how big I could have that sink. And I wanted to, to have it as big as possible. I wanted it to be able to have a, colon, a, a colander fit in there. I wanted it to have a bucket um, so that I could, you know, soak any of the vegetables I needed to soak. And so I pushed the limit. And this is a 12 and a half inch wide sink in a 14 inch cabinet. Now let me tell you what, my friend's husband, who was the plumber that did this, I'm going to tell you now, he wasn't very happy, but you know what? I absolutely love that man. 
thank you so much for what he did. He was able to manipulate the plumbing and he had to get up in there in some areas it was so tight to work, but he did it. He, he's just amazing. And so we were able to get that sink in that tiny little cabinet. And like I said, I pushed the limit on ordering that sink because I wanted it to be as big as possible for that cabinet. And I also wanted it to be a little bit of a distance away from my stove. You know, I didn't want to mix water with electricity and all the splashy stuff comes out. And so it's actually perfect. I can fill a giant spaghetti pot. I can fill a giant soup pot. And yet I'm not lugging it, you know, across my kitchen from my main sink over here. Sorry, it's a tad messy, but there's my main sink. And I ended up matching the fixtures. They're not the same brand, but it's in this brass finish. Uh, it's, a, it's a gooseneck fixture. I wanted to make sure when you're, if you're going to do something like this, I wanted to make sure I had enough height between my hands in the sink with the vegetables and the whatever you're washing, a watermelon. You need something pretty big. So I wanted enough height from here. So when you're thinking about your sink, one thing I wished that I had done, um, you can see that this part of the, this goose, I think it's a gooseneck or swan neck, gooseneck. This part, I wish that this came out a little bit farther because it's near this area when I'm washing, but I make sure I wash down low. Also, you want to make sure this splashy thing where it comes out is hitting near your drain too. But besides that, you know, it just gets a little bit damp back there. Besides that, I, I love the choice of this clean sink. And that's what I call it, my clean sink. Because like I said, nothing, um, no chicken juice, no, no meat, no bacteria, nothing gets in this except fruits and vegetables. And it's perfect for my green beans. I wash my green beans. I go snap them right in here from my strainer. And I can just pop them right into my pot. And um, I want to say, I'm guessing this is, I'm guessing this is at least 18 inches from the stove where I have my sink and water. Um, if it's not 18 inches, well, here's, where's my measuring tape? I have a measuring tape. I'll just measure it quickly. But I'm very happy with the choice of this um, pot filler versus clean sink or vegetable sink. Because now, instead of having the expense of my plumbing for just one purpose, filling pots, this now justifies to me it's more useful. I have it's more versatile, more uses for that one sink. Um, also, if the plumbing were to ever... Uh, have a problem and I had it as a pot filler behind this wall here where there's no tile yet um, You might have to ruin that tile wall to get to that plumbing if you have an inside wall link leak at least here I can go through the cabinet and cabinet wall and I'm and I'm not going to be able to have you know damage to my home whereas this this could be a big mess if that ever to were to leak inside that wall um, so I'm very happy with this, um, with this choice that I ended up doing. And that was one that I was contemplating. It's, this is, um, 17 and a half inches right here from, yeah, the 17 and a half inches from the, um, sink, the distance. And that's adequate enough because my wash, you think about it, you have a pot and this is, you know, maybe a slightly wet area. And so it's away. I wanted it away from my, um my my sink um, but I hope you learned a little bit about choices and the little process that I went through and I hope this helps you make your decision of what to do uh, pot filler versus um, vegetable sink